Hello there. I'm going to show you how to locate and find various help topics. So whenever you're using Infragistics controls, you're probably going to encounter situations where you need to reference the online documentation, otherwise known as the help. So one way you can get to the help is by going to infragistics.com and what you can do is navigate this top menu item so you can get to help and you can click on online documentation that'll take you directly to the Infragistics page that contains links to all of our documentation for all the various products as well as a few volumes back as well so let's take a look at let's say if we're looking at ASP.NET help let's say if you need to find out and you're working with the 2012 volume 1 version of our ASP.NET product you simply click on the link and that will load up the online help system for that product and then just a little tour around the help um, usually you'll have a developer's guide so the developer's guide is where you'll spend most of your time looking through step-by-step -step tutorials and code snippets on how to do stuff so expand the controls section because this is where you'll find the actual controls there might be other type of topics at this level right underneath developer's guide um, it depends on the platform you might have things about assemblies uh, like deploying assemblies or the actual list of assemblies um, if you have versionless assemblies um, things related to deploying your application and how to do that various um, things scoped to uh, developers aside from the actual individual controls to learn about the individual controls you expand the controls section um, then you go down and you just locate the control that you wish to learn about for example if I wanted to learn about web hierarchical data grid I'll just scroll down until I find web hierarchical data grid and let's say if you're new to this control we all know what a grid does but let's say if you encounter a control that you've never really heard of that kind of control before that's when the about whatever the control name is will help you out and understand what this is about um, if it's a really complex control with lots and lots of features there'll probably be several about that control topic just to break it up so it's not one ginormous topic so you just basically take a look at the about topic and it describes a bunch of the features that it has some really simple code snippets just for very very basic stuff to get you started and again it's a great topic that helps you understand what the controls all about and what it can do now for actual step-by-step -step tutorial topics on how to do certain things with the control the using whatever the control is topics will help you so using web hierarchical data grid so let's expand that guy right there and then we'll take a look at the various topics that that are available here so um, I know the grid has a behaviors object model or behaviors collection where you can add different types of behaviors such as um, editing sorting selection and so forth this section contains everything you need to know about behaviors so here on the activation behavior the cell editing behavior um, let's say the let's go to a simple one selection so this describes the behavior and you just go down read the top you know read this topic step by step and then it just tells you how to enable them how to um, accomplish basic tasks it, also, it gives you various types of code snippets such as the VB.NET code, the C-sharp code, as well as the JavaScript code because guess what, in this particular um, platform and product we have lots of JavaScript stuff that you can do and this is all covered in the documentation. So, And there's a lot of different types of topics in here so these are all basically either code snippets or step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, another one that I'd like to also bring to your attention, very important, the getting started topics there might be several topics depending on what control it is but usually getting started can be thought of as the hello world topic you want to get your hands dirty and play with the control look at the about I'm sorry getting the getting started with whatever the control is and then you just follow these simple step-by-step -step directions that will allow you to actually accomplish something where it's simple in nature but just to get your hands dirty and a little bit of experience on how to create a very simple instance of that control with some data or 
you know, set some values in it depending on what the control is. Um, so that's basically how you work with that. Now here's another thing that I'm going to bring to your attention. Now there's another section of the help that you can jump to directly, which is the API reference guide. The API reference guide is automatically generated from all of our assemblies and all of the comments that we write within all the properties, events, methods, and all the other objects or classes or or um, or you know, different types of assets in the code uh, will basically be ripped out hierarchically and depending on how the individual objects in the assemblies are related and interrelated documentation will be formed and that's exactly what this is all about so let's say if we wanted to take a look at um, the infragistics.webassembly there's various um, namespaces in here so if you scroll down you'll find one with let's say infragistics.documents infragistics.webui.documents.excel and this is basically the excel namespace and then you could expand the classes or just just click on this up here you'll basically get all the items that are in that namespace so we go so like here's one class click on this one here And then you can just basically scroll through the way you normally would and look at the members, any, if there's any public properties, um, events, enumerations as well. So if I scroll down, just to show you in this particular namespace, there's lots of there's classes, there's in, enumerations, interfaces. This is how you would actually navigate the individual API members, like when you start learn when you start learning about the object model itself. Now, let's say if you're not too you're um, not an expert yet on the APIs not to worry using the web hierarchical data grid example let's do this I'm going to go to the API overview so here's the web hierarchical data grid and this is true for basically all of our controls you expand that and then right underneath this help topic you're going to look for the API overview now you may be familiar with the control or you're starting out with the control well essentially the API overview topic is basically handwritten and designed to tell you all about the popular API members that you'd probably be using and jumping around in through the API documentation so this is the namespace where this guy exists and here's some key classes that you'll find and again once you know this you can jump directly to it by going right to the API reference guide navigating and finding what you're looking for I, you know we, a lot of us here at Infogistics that know these products um, at a de by you know by a, a decent margin we just jump to the APIs directly or we even type in the search we might type something you know, directly related to the API member with the right casing and everything and we jump right to it but again you want to work with the bands the behaviors this is the web hierarchical data grid class itself um, if we landed on the web hierarchical data grid class itself so then we go to members and then we could see the objects properties and, and events directly off of that directly off of the root of that class and then we can just scroll down and work your way that way so you know we're on the actual web hierarchical data grid class so then there's we can look at the bands property so the grid dot bands we click on that and it's a band collection it takes type bands and you just basically work your way around this and then you can scroll down and see um, you know, members of this one the class and members just like typical API automatically generated API documentation so that is one way of working with the help another way of working with the help is jumping to infragistics.com and we go to products, let's say using ASP.NET as um, the example for today. I click on the ASP.NET product and look at all these cool images and some marketing stuff and links, uh, descriptions, and some information down here. You, you're able to look at some videos that we have here. So as you expand any of these videos, like say if I expand this one here, you'll have some videos in here that you can click on and play. So as you notice, we have a bunch of other items that we've pretty much thought of just to give people some videos to watch to just get them started now going back to the top so I'm in the infogistics ASP.NET products page 
and you see what's new, overview, controls and samples. But look at this, we also have help. So this is the other location on our site to get help. So you click on that, and then what happens is you'll get a page that loads up, and then you can search through a bunch of topics and look at some of the topics that are actually popular um, forum posts related to this and this is all built by tagging content there's also related videos and so forth so this is the other way that you can get help this actually is more complete because before I showed you the actual documentation this page kind of combines everything together so the reason why I'm showing you this page as well is because with the documentation you can methodically go through step-by-step -step tutorials and learn about the product because you need to learn about the product in order to use it effectively. Now however there may be stuff that you're trying to accomplish that is not in the actual documentation. Um, after all you know we do not think we, we're not able to write about 100 percent of our anticipated customer use cases so we might miss some stuff here and there and that's what this is good for then you can basically get items from our forums you might have blog posts related so this is basically the other place where you can get help so this is basically how you can find help look at documentation and related items for the various products and make sure you take advantage of this because there's lots of information in here that you, will make you an expert in our controls Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.